hello this topic is about adding uh, SSD enterprise SSD to your ESX um, you can put um, consumer but it's not really uh, good because consumer is not durable the speed is not consistent although it will say 30, 90k uh, IOPS but uh, in the long run it will subside so it's better really to run uh, to add uh, enterprise SSD on as a SSD caching on vSphere or ESXi so I'm adding on this uh, it, this one I already rebooted it so I put it on maintenance mode um, and then I, I created a, a logical a simple logical zero, RAID 0 because it's only one right and then make sure um, you will see it first you will see it here first of course it's not SSD because it's really not the expensive one this is just from Seagate Enterprise um, or I haven't tried really in reinstalling so that's why it's probably just appearing here so we can force it to to be added on the on the system anyway by manual so um, you probably can find this topic on the internet and I'm SSD on blah 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 so just search this one and you will go there so the first command that we need to do is uh, this command and I will know that my SSD is um, so it, well, all of them are saying left hand anyway so I will remember the last four digit is 1063 so 1063 is this one so meaning my other one is missing one is this one okay just left hand left hand left hand Also, so, so meaning this is the the SSD that I added. Well, this doesn't recognize yet. So we will force it. So what I do usually is I do search it. I go to the logs of my. My system okay so previously it doesn't exist so it only exists on the end because I already created the log so meaning that's the that's the one so the first thing we need to do is to uh, issue this command say here on number three actually on number 3 on the instruction it say uh, 2 instruction there but, they all, but the one that will work for me is the one that have enabled local I have a previous command here and I'll just delete this one
Right. And then I say on the instruction that I show you is to run, I mean, you go to num in instruction number 5 is to run this. This one with the minus D on the device name. Sorry on my son, I'm working in my office right now. And then and then that's it. And then what we can do only is to verify. SSD. Okay, it's supposed to be true here, and this is local. If I don't use the enable local, it, I cannot see it. I tried so many things. I didn't add it on my RAID. I added in RAID, blah blah blah. It doesn't work. This is the only thing that works. Enable it, and then it's supposed to be saying here local is true and or SSD is true. Now you can go to the GUI. I mean, you can go to the web client now and then uh, click on the click on the ESX and then uh, click the vSphere, you know, manage settings, and then add capacity, and it should show there. It's a 240 uh, enterprise Seagate. But of course, just showing 2023 because of all the formatting of the organization of the disk. So once it's added, it's all okay now. You can, so you can use that one. You can you can allocate on your on your virtual machines like uh, all the previous one that I added before. Let me just show you. And by the way, I just do the recommendation on using uh, using the cache. It usually start with, um, with, with, with 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 eighty. If it's eighty hard disk, so it's supposed to be twenty percent. So eight times two is sixteen. So you put sixteen. And if you have second hard drive, so thirty eight times two is seventy six. So that's the recommendation. You can you can do a smaller amount or bigger amount and which one work and also on the on the block size most of them are block sizes 8 anyway um, because I did test on my I added first on my ESX3 and when I run ESX3 most of the the highest count anyway is 8 gig you can see it's six here yeah so it's really the, the recommendation of b where it's eight gig so it's better to put eight gig now if it's really uh even this one is only three eight that's me you can see that but The problem with smaller amount 502 of course if they use you know the defragmentation you, you should read you should read that you should just take my take my recommendation but most of them are 8 gig anyway and then what i do also is um i make sure that there's always uh bigger space on the um, There's always bigger space, like for example on my ex, my per, this 62.4 10. There's still 130 gig. Even so, even if there's a defragmentation happening, um, you you are safe that uh, even the fragmentation happen. You have a freeze. You have lot of space to to you know because um, the spare caching is not is not perfected. So that's how you add all those. Uh, add the SSD enterprise caching on the ESX. Ciao.